Hi, and welcome to Colorlib Video Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to walk you through Blaskin theme options, site identity, and colors, and widget setup. To get started, navigate to your WordPress dashboard, then go to Appearance and select Customize. You will be redirected to this page here where you can start customizing your site. Let's start by customizing our site identity. Here, you can add logo, site title, tagline, and site icon. Logo image will override the text logo. You cannot have both at the same time. Tagline can be displayed under the text logo. Click on Select Logo to select the logo from your local drive and import. Next, enter your tagline on the text box provided here. Check on this box here if you want to display site title and tagline. Next, click Select Image to upload your site icon. The site icon is used as a browser and app icon for your site. Icons must be square and at least 512 pixels wide and tall. Click on the back arrow when done. Theme options is where you can change your site layout. Your website is comprised of site layout and footer layout area. Check on the box here to hide header search. For the site layout, you can either have right or left sidebar or no sidebar at all by checking on the boxes here. For the footer layout, you can have a maximum of four columns. Click on the back arrow once done making your changes. Next option is your site colors. Click on colors to proceed. Under this, you can only change your website background color. Click on it to open to color bar and choose the one of your choice. I prefer white, so I will leave it as it is. Next is the header image. This is the image appearing on top here. While you can crop the image to your liking after uploading, Blaskin Theme recommends a header size of 1600 by 460 pixels. Click on the Add Image to add a new image. Background image is the image displayed all through the site. Currently, there is no image set. Click on Select Image here to upload a custom background image for your site. Remember to save and publish your changes after every stage. Lastly, I will take you through the process of setting your website widgets. Click on Widgets to open. This theme contains site body and footer sidebar. Let's first start by customizing the body sidebar. These are the menu items appearing on the side here. You can customize it to suit your requirements by either adding or removing widgets from the list here. To add a widget, click on Add a Widget and choose the widget that you want to add. You can search for it from the search bar on top here. Widget title is optional. To remove, click on the down arrow to expand and select Remove. Footer sidebar is the ones that will appear below your website page. It's comprised of four sections. This will display depending on the settings you choose under the theme options. Let's modify footer sidebar one. Currently, it's empty. I will add a widget by clicking on Add a Widget. As you can see, our new widget is now added and visible on the site. I can add more widgets based on my needs using the Add a Widget button. The process of modifications is similar for footer sidebar 1, 2, and 3. Proceed and click on them to modify. Save and publish your changes when done editing. Congratulations! You have successfully modified your theme options, site identity, colors, and widget setup on your new Blaskin WordPress theme. This marks the end of our video tutorials on Blaskin WordPress theme. For support on related questions, it is better to ask on support forum as they have more knowledge than me at colorlib.com forward slash forums forward slash forum forward slash Blaskin. This link is available below in the description area. 
Last but not least, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep you up to date with the latest WordPress theme tutorials.